All right, everybody. Good morning. Um, obviously, you know, if you ain't seen um, yeah, the around the indoor football world with my boys, Shady Sports Network, Cody of Indy Alley. I know Dukon didn't get to show up this morning, but, you know, it is what it is with that. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and watch that. If you have not already, I'll definitely be going back on Shady's show. Um, add some interesting you know, guys to talk to, Lionel McConnell of Frisco, Bernie Nowitzharski of Harrisburg, and somebody else I forgot already. Uh, I'm blanking at this moment in time. So, yeah, welcome one and all to WNBA content on this channel for the first time in quite some time, I'm talking about the WNBA for the first time ever. I will be doing WNBA content throughout the summer and continue to do that for the entire season. So, of course, you know, there's the whole Olympics thing, but, you know, they're, they're, we'll worry about that when we get to that moment. Right now, as it stands, um, you have Toronto being added as the 14th franchise the WNBA for the 25-26 season, of course. And then, you know, obviously the Golden State team where the Golden State used to play, the Warriors used to play, that will be coming next season. So 12 teams this year for the WNBA, 144 players. So that means a lot of, a lot of gals are going to get cut, unfortunately. Um, you know, players are returning from overseas in Europe, and they are in training camps and preseasons and everything like that. Of course, you know, people are getting up in arms about, oh, well, the, we, we can't watch these WBA games on league pass and, you know, and yada, 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 and all this stuff about preseason basketball. First off, the first problem is that it's preseason basketball. Why are, why are we even, why are you making a notion about preseason basketball? You have 40 regular season games, 20 home games, for your specific team in your area, go to those. Uh, preseason does not matter to me at all um, in any league. So, you know, the fact that people were up in arms about that is just a test bit to show that the WNBA is growing in the right direction. You have all this stuff dedicated to the WNBA that ESPN is finally starting to, you know, do stuff for. Of course, you have the Ion deal. You have CBS's deal. You have the Amazon deal. And everything like that and those are coming up you know this year and everything like that so once the season is over things are going to get reevaluated for a new tv contract and i hope that at least there's going to be more on broadcast tv um, i think there's spots in the summer that can be filled and they definitely have been and will be uh, of course the opening night double header featuring Caitlin Clark's Indiana Fever, um, the Las Vegas Aces, the, uh, the Phoenix Mercury, and uh, I forgot who else. But, yeah, that opening night in just a couple of days um, on the 14th, which will be Tuesday night. So that opening night, double header, make sure you go watch that. Again, the presence of Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and others – have necessitated games being moved to bigger arenas for, you know, ticket prices going up and everything like that. So the game is definitely on watch. And maybe, you know, maybe we're continuing the, the Caitlin Clark meat writing or whatever, but it is what it is there. Um, you know, what else can I say? You know, what else can I say that has been said? Maybe, maybe a lot of people are following the game because of Caitlin Clark, but again, I've known there's been some dogs. In WNBA, there's been some some dogs that know how to shoot the rock in the WNBA for years, but just haven't watched the WNBA like that. But this year, I will definitely be doing that again. The first games start that count anyway on May the 14th, and then of course there's a double header that weekend on ABC, um, also featuring Benton Clark and Company and everybody else in you know those games um so there's some other news as well the dallas wings they actually get to move to dallas that i will no longer have to you know try and finagle away to try and get to arlington 
to see them. They will be moving to Dallas um, in a couple years as part of a new plan to get more sports into actual Dallas. Like we need sports in Dallas, Dallas, not, not, not Frisco, not Fort Worth, not Beaumont, Duncanville, you know, DeSoto. We don't need sports over there. We need sports in Dallas, Texas, in the city of Dallas, Texas. So yeah, the NBA draft lotteries today, I personally don't really care. Um, or I th- yeah, I think it's today. It's either today or tomorrow. I don't know which. I don't know which day, but I don't really care about the draft lottery. The playoffs are in full swing. Um, Oklahoma City and Dallas are in one Western Conference semifinal. Minnesota, Denver, and the other. Of course, the Ant Man, Anthony Edwards, has been schooling Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and company. But Denver got the win last night. Um, the the Dallas series, the Dallas Oklahoma City series, that will resume today. Um, and that's going to be one hell of an interesting game. Of course, Cleveland, Boston is also a one to one series. You know, Donovan Mitchell has had some great performances over the past couple weeks, especially that 50 point game against Orlando. And of course, you know, also Orlando getting eliminated in seven games. What one, one great series that went seven games. We had to have one. Um, Boston, of course, you know, still looking like the team to beat, you know, right now for me personally. Um, of course, I still think the Nuggets will, you know, you know, the Nuggets will persevere. But I think Minnesota, Denver is going to go seven games. I think we're going to get a seven game series. I know Rudy Gobert, you know, did play in game two, but that didn't matter because Ant Man went off. And everything like that. And then, of course, the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers. A lot of people said, oh, well, the Knicks are going to sweep the Pacers. No. <laughs> no. Why did y'all think that? Why did y'all think that? Indiana got one last night. Andrew Nemhard with an absolute dynamite of a play last night. Um, of course, Jalen Brunson has been on fire. Josh Hart has been playing f- pretty much 48-minute games consistently, but, you know, he did play for like five minutes last night for the first time in a while. But, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a continuation of these playoffs. Again, um, the the way things are is that, you know, Minnesota is going to continue to fight Denver. I think this series will go seven. Oklahoma City-Dallas, unknown right now, definitely may go six. Boston-Cleveland, you know, I'm not sure what people thought that this series was going to be, but I think this will go six. And, of course, New York, Indiana, I think that will go six as well. I still think we're going to end up with a Boston-New York um, conference final at a bit of, at a Denver-Dallas conference final out west. So, again, watch out for the WBA today and going on forward. So we'll be making WB content and everything like that. Of course, the draft lottery and the playoff games today and the rest of the week. So big boy signing out and I'll see you when I see you.